My name is Steve. Welcome to my shop. This video is going to be just a short little demonstration of a repair. A friend of mine gave me this uh, item. It's, uh, so I don't know what you would call it. It balances. And it was brazed together out of cut nails, the body on it. It's the body of a person and one of the arms broke off of it and he asked me if I could fix it for him. Apparently it's been around for a long time. It looks quite old and so it's a little bit of primitive artwork here. So in today's video I am going to silver solder this back together. I don't want to braise it. I don't want to melt the original brass on it, although I could. I'd rather try and clean it up. It fits together really well. So I'm going to clean up the joint and silver solder it. So I'll bring you around up a little closer and show you how I do it. Here is the break. And it's a little rough, but the pieces fit together really nice. So I'm going to use a soft stainless steel brush in my Dremel to clean it up because I really don't want to remove any material, but I do want to clean up the joint. So let's clean it up. Here are the products that I use for silver soldering. It's called Safety Silve by Harris. It's the Safety Silve 45, which I believe means it's 45% silver. And then I use the uh, Stay Silve. On this, I'm going to use the white flux. I use black for higher temperature work. This flux has a tendency to dry out a little bit and what it does I just use a little bit of uh, distilled water to, uh, to clean it up. I just put some little bit of the flux on both surfaces. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna hold it together. Now here is the setup that I came up with. I put the piece in a little bench vise and then I'm holding the uh, the broken piece in a third hand that's sitting up on top of a block and that seems to hold it pretty good. There's a better shot of the way that I'm holding it. Here's the torch that I use for most of my silver soldering. It's a map gas torch made by burns matic and it's a JTH7. I was wandering through an old-time hardware store that I frequent out in Pennsylvania, and he had it hanging up on the rack, 
and it looked just like what I wanted. And I have used this almost exclusively for silver soldering since I got it. And I've even been able to do some uh, light brazing with it. You know, it breaks out having to bring out the oxyacetylene torch. I can use that if I need more heat, but this seems to provide all the heat that I need. Well, here it goes. Let's see how we make out. goes. I think I've got it. Let that cool down and we'll clean it up. Yeah, there it is. Got it to balance. I think it's cooled down enough now that, yeah, I'm going to uh, just take my Dremel brush and. Uh, Clean it up, clean the, uh, the flux off of it. I'll bring you back when I'm finished. After wire brushing it, of course it was kind of a bright brass color. And I'm using a weathering solution on it. And this product is made for weathering brass and nickel silver railroad track uh, for model railroading. And so I'm just putting a little bit of that on it. And that will uh, that'll kill that bright brass color on it and this product includes selenius acid cupric nitrate ammonium fluoride all good stuff <laughs> but as you can see it is it's killing the uh, the bright brass and I'll leave it on there a little longer and it'll it'll darken it up a little bit more and make it look a little bit more weathered. That wraps up this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I try and come up with some different content all the time and after a while it gets difficult to do different stuff. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.